Okay, y'all, welcome back. Welcome to Vlogtober Day 25. Almost there, almost there. And if I hadn't gotten sick, you would have had 25 videos. However, I think I might make up for it and throw in some little small ones. You know. But anyway, feeling much better today. Still a little something going on in my throat. And my nose must have been itching because I was out yesterday outside. So I know it's allergies because I got a scratch on my nose. <laughs> I must have scratched myself in the middle of the night. Anyway, I'm having coffee in my West Elm mug. I, I first did these about two, maybe even three years ago. When Grace Bridge first opened and they used to be normal, I, I thrifted a set of four of these. And I paid $3 a piece for them, $2.99 a piece. So I got a set of four of these Red Al um, West Elm mugs. I love these. Uh -huh. It is now 4.30ish, right? And... I'm just getting my day started. My hair is a mess. I did kind of brush it back a little bit. I <laughs> I got on a t-shirt and jeans because I had to run around to get something from the mail and I'm getting ready to show y'all. Now, today's video is probably gonna be, I'm gonna be painting some objects. I told y'all how I paint things that I find at the thrift store to match in the room, what I'm doing. I wanted to do this video outside because it's, but it's hot. It's very hot. It's 82 degrees, but why does it always feel hotter in fall, right? Hotter. And it's some little bug, like little flying things outside. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, no, no. We can't have that. So I got to get some spray. But I'm going to tell y'all about my Old Navy. I want to I wanna go there. I really want to go there today, but I look like this and I don't feel like doing nothing else. So I'm not going to go today, but it might be tomorrow. I have till the 31st. But Old Navy just told, just notified me that my, on my, you know how when you're a member with them, like the, um, I don't th even think it's credit card. I think it's um, if you sign up with them and you buy like online and you have an account type thing. Well, I, I have accumulated 20 Old Navy bucks or some kind of bucks. So I can spend that if I spend $50, right? So then, um, and I have till the 31st to use it. Or no, maybe it's the 30th. Yeah, I think it is the 31st. But anyway, then I, um, Afterpay. I told y'all about Afterpay. I love Afterpay, y'all. I'm telling y'all, if you don't, I'm going to do a video on Afterpay and show y'all because I think everybody should use it. Afterpay is like layaway for four payments you get to pay in four payments right but you get your stuff immediately you can shop in store now i am not sponsored by them i just love this concept i love the concept for many reasons and like i said i'll talk about that maybe we'll talk about after pay when i'm doing the other diy today i'm doing but anyway and let me show y'all this i ordered this off amazon right this is i'm just opening it up it is not the best quality I'm looking at right now, and I don't think I'm going to keep it. See? It looks so much better on the picture. Um, it's a cape. It's a cape. It's open, and your arms come out of it. Let me show y'all. I look a mess. Don't pay me no mind. But this whole look that I had in my mind was with the blue tip turtleneck I told y'all I've been searching for. Why I want to go to Old Navy. But anyway, it goes around like this. And your arms come out. So it's not as bad as I'm thinking. There's a lot of loose thread right here, though. I'll fix that. It's not as bad as, you know, I mean, figure Texas in the fall. Right? But I had my my idea was the navy blue turtleneck that came out and around the collar came up. And with some navy blue jeans with this, I don't know. It was like $36, $33 on Amazon. I don't know if I want to keep it. I don't know. I'm going to make up my mind. But now the reason why I actually got that <laughs> is because I had ordered these last week. And they don't go as much as I thought they would. So I don't know if I'm going to keep that. I might be taking that back to Kohl's. But look at this. I got another pair of the Uggs. This brand. This um, Uggs other brand they make well it's the same it's the same thing it's the coolabura coolabura this one has a zipper on the side right 
and the bottom and they're blue so now i have that dark brown distressed boot ug boot that i got a couple weeks ago from ross i have the camel color and i have not cam yeah i think it is a camel what are they calling that what do they call that tan color the regular ug the basic ug they made i forget what they call that chestnut or something like that then i have gray and now i have the blue i all i want to do now because i have pink and i have a few other style and i got another black and another chocolate brown in another uh style but i want to get a simple black in this similar and the regular even i don't care if it has a zipper or not but that's it after that i ain't buying no more y'all but these are so comfortable i think i'm gonna live in these as soon as we can next tuesday we're supposed to get to 66. to me that's fall weather for texas so maybe then i could pull out something but i'm just like i said trying to get my new wardrobe together and um somebody gonna be happy with all my donations that i've been donating and i still got more to take there i still got more that i'm getting ready to go drop off but because i don't have to be dressed i could just run around the corner and throw that in one of them bins you know them clothes bins so i'm gonna do that and then when i get back i'm going to do the diy with y'all so i wanted to show y'all this really quick don't know what i'm gonna do with this i don't know yet what y'all think about this i don't know i don't know if that's me it's cute, but I think it would be cute on somebody else. You see, I just don't like the fabric. That's what it is. It's the fabric that I don't like. I think I'm going to start a return on this. I'll find a different cape. I just don't like this one. Yeah. Anyway, I'll be back with y'all in a few. I, um, I'm going to do a DIY in a minute. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Hot mess. Hot mess. Hot mess hands. Y'all, I figured I'd pop on. I'm doing a short with this, but look at these. Y'all seen me. I just thrifted this. I have like $11 worth of roosters sitting in front of me right now, right? And I told y'all plenty of times before how I'll go to the thrift store. I'll look for like items. So right here, I got a grouping of roosters and I got the large one the, um, that I'm getting ready to put a second coat on. Reggie Jr. Y'all seen that one. And, um, I am going to add these into my, I got two empty shelves here that I've cleared off for the bookcases. And um, I'm not book, what are these? Bookshelves. Shelves. And I probably will put one on the other side and then I'm going to throw some in the kitchen. But I wanted to show y'all how just a coat of paint will change up the look. Look at that. From this to this. This one's still wet, so I can't move it. And so is this one. I can't move them. Wait, I can lift it like this because I ain't get to that side. But look at that. You see? And all I got is that one little bit to do. But these are going to dry matte. They're shiny right now because they're still wet. But I'm doing this one here in the charcoal color. Um, this is charcoal uh, chalk paint. Same color as my table and chairs. That one is, I have one other one that's larger, that's up top, that same color. And then I have some black, and these will be, you'll see them throughout the space. Um, I think I'm all roostered out now. I'm, I love them, but I think I have enough. So I don't think I'll be buying these anymore. But if you guys take this um, thought uh, about, you know, like say you're into horses, or say you're into animals, or say you're into um statues or uh whatever right and say you get a grouping of them you go to the thrift store and you look up and you find somebody's old collection but is old-fashioned the colors are crazy they don't match with your house you bring them home you lay out some plastic and you pull out the colors that are in your house right your accent colors and you just get the painting and you paint them with the thought where you're going to put them at in mind now you see these right here? This is a black one in matte black. And then I have these two in like a jadeite green, right? And they just sit right here, right? And and they, they're fine there, but that's my accent colors. So it all blends in. And it, I like the black and the charcoal look for the silhouette look. And that's what I'm working with right now. But whatever your color is in your house, if you take that paint, 
and get it as close as possible to what you're working with, these will be there, but won't be there. It'll give it that silhouette look. And people are paying a lot of money for that these days. The matte blacks, the matte whites, the matte grays, those colors, all the matte colors, people are paying. You look it up online and try to find something. It's going to be so expensive, you know? So, um, going, like I said, I spent $11 here in Roosters. And when I'm done, you'll see, I'll show them to you in a later video, but, um, I'm trying to get them done so I can finish up this short to go up tomorrow. And then, um, I will, what will I be doing, y'all? I don't even know. I don't know what I'm doing. But I just wanted to show y'all what I was doing with this. I also have a piece of iron piece that I have to go, I have to paint that tonight too. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I ain't doing nothing else tonight. I'm going to fix me some cabbage, y'all, because I got a taste for it. So, um, I got two small heads right? Because I ordered it twice from Amazon, um, fresh, you know, when I get my delivery. And I was like, I ordered two, two different times. So I'm going to just cook up both of them and then I'll have some leftovers for the next couple days. And then I got chicken going in the, um, air fryer, five pieces of like drumsticks and, um, but they're pretty big. So that's going to be at least three meals for me. Right. And, um, like I said, then I'll have the cabbage. So I'll be eating off of that all week. The rest of this week. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm doing today, y'all. I'm looking a hot royal mess. Ain't thinking about getting dressed. I am going to be doing, probably not today, tomorrow, I want to set up my coffee bar area like it's supposed to be because it's a mess over there. Nothing's in order. So um, changing seasons is what it is. So I think we'll do that tomorrow. I'll show you all how I'm doing that. Possibly, depending on how boring that is. But because of I wasn't feeling well, I still did not get that pantry finished. Put, I didn't finish putting that pantry together, y'all. So I got boxes of stuff that need to go in the pantry, groceries and stuff that got to be put away. And that's driving me crazy. So, yeah, that might be something else I do. So that's it, y'all. This is what my day is today. Um... Trying to get back on the, you know, swing of things of getting back, things back in order again. And um, because when I start, not start when the, you know, whatever this is, when my throat started feeling bad and then my neck was bothering me too, I um, was in the middle of taking stuff apart. <laughs> so I got some stuff over here to finish the table. That got to be done tonight. So I have to paint tonight. You see, that's why I'm doing that. Because if I don't get this painting done tonight, I'm not going to want to put my table together because I know I need this. I can't get down on the floor with this sore neck and paint on the floor down there like I normally do. But anyway, guys, I will chit chat with y'all later. I'm going to cook. It's getting late. I can tell because it's going to get dark soon. The sun is going down. So it's got to be about 630, 6 o'clock. Something like, well, yeah, because this starts about 645. It starts to get dark around here. Yep. Nowadays. So, uh, I will talk, talk to y'all tomorrow. Leave me some comments. And um, thanks for watching. All right, y'all.